So here we have the Adafruit Feather TFT ESP32-S2. And I was kind of looking at it the other day and I thought, let's take a look at the back here. I know they use an Espressif chip, but here's the, you know, kind of the little name and some of the little circuitry. And now the chip, it's an Espressif ESP32-S2-Mini-1. And then there's some information here. And then I saw this, what I thought was a QR code, but it's not a QR code. There are many different types of codes out there. So this is a data matrix code. And one of the reasons I was looking on the back is I wanted to find the MAC address. Uh, a MAC address is a unique number that is associated with your wireless card or your network card. And that is how like your routing device or your switch uh, identifies your system and kind of binds it to this IP address. So what I did is I looked on my wireless LAN and I kind of plugged it in, saw it appear, unplugged it, plugged it in, and I could figure out what the Mac was, but that, that's really not super useful. Um, so that's what I was originally looking for, but let's, let's uh, check out this little, this little maxi, uh, data matrix code. I keep saying the wrong code, it's data matrix. Okay, cool. So here is the program that I downloaded for my iPhone called Code Scan, and it scanned the uh, a picture of the code. I couldn't scan it directly on the chip. My camera couldn't focus, so I took a picture of it and then scanned the picture. A little bit clumsy, but okay. Now, you're gonna note there's two numbers, 05, whoops, and then there's 21, and then this is the MAC address. Um, or maybe it's 214, sorry. So this is the MAC address. The first half of a MAC address is the vendor, and then the second half is kind of the unique portion of the identifier. Data matrix uh, code that is returned. It's an 18-digit code. So the first two digits are reserved for the ES, uh, expressive use, sorry. Um, uh, digit three to six is the production year date code. So it goes week, week, and then year and then the rest of it is the MAC address. I apologize if I said the timestamp incorrectly. So the first two digits are for their use, then it's year, year, so this is 2021, and then it's the 40th week of 2021, and then here is my MAC address. And I, I think this could be really handy if you have a lot of these devices and say they're spread around or you're, you're you know, gonna provision a bunch of them, you can go scan them all and know which one you have. That way, if they're on the network, you know, if you bring up these IoT devices, uh, you can just, you know, look on your router and see what if you have 50 of them. Well, you know, that's a lot, but <laughs> but this way you could identify them and know which is which. So that's pretty cool. It's just a cool extreme close up of what I think is a little capacitor uh, on the board. I am not sure what it is directly connected to, but I just thought it was a cool picture. Here's just an extreme close-up with microscope of the little Adafruit flower. I just thought it was kind of a cool artsy shot. Just thought I'd share. Here you can see the little flower down at the bottom. And to the right of that is the capacitor that said 512 on it. I used kind of a fisheye lens because I thought it was fun. And I, of course, did this on my ESP32 S2 Feather from Adafruit. You can check out a lot of boards because a lot of boards use that espressive chip. But um, thanks for watching and have a great one.